Who can answer the burning question? What can stop combustible material spreading fire within a building? The producers and suppliers of polypropylene twin-walled plastic and acoustic HDPE sanitary drainage systems thought that the passive fire collar solution was up to the task, but the evidence you're about to see shows just how wrong they were. The devastating results speak for themselves and dramatically highlight the potential risks of fitting the fire collar solution to certain plastic-based drainage systems in the event of a fire. But don't take our word for it, see for yourself and keep an eye on the clock. In less than three minutes, the polypropylene system in the fire compartment begins to melt. In the basement, molten droplets already start to fall down the two polypropylene pipe systems and ominously onto the floor. After 10 minutes, the molten droplets catch a light, establishing a new fire outbreak. In the basement, the burning droplets are now falling down the acoustic HDPE systems. In the fire compartment, dense smoke is being generated by all the plastic type systems, making observation almost impossible. An important consideration when smoke is generally considered the biggest killer in the first 30 minutes of any fire. On the upper floor, all plastic type pipe systems are still intact and therefore the fire collars have deployed, fulfilling their requirement not to allow the spread of fire. In the basement, however, the first bend from a suspended polypropylene system has ignited and begins to burn through. Now the fire has well and truly taken hold and is spreading, despite the presence of fire collars installed to the manufacturer's recommendations. But these fire collars haven't responded as predicted and remain inactive. At this stage, for safety's sake, the test was aborted, and as promised earlier, the results speak for themselves. In just over half an hour, molten droplets from the polypropylene and acoustic HDPE systems in the fire compartment have dripped past the passive fire collar solution, igniting the pipework in the basement below. The twin-walled plastic system has sustained irreparable damage, and as with the other systems, the fire collars have failed to deploy. Only the non-combustible cast-iron pipe system remains intact and serviceable. Fire safety in buildings is paramount. The risk has to be minimized. And in today's environment of increasing insurance claims and litigation, surely the safest and wisest course of action must be to specify non-combustible materials for every industrial, commercial and public building. Cast iron is non-combustible. With cast iron, you cannot propagate fire, as this video evidence so ably proves. And it will not emit deadly smoke or fumes like the plastic-based systems shown in this test. It's damning evidence that's too hot for some to handle. But in the event of fire, it puts out all the right answers. Specify cast iron, the number one choice for fire safety.